How's it going everyone? Welcome or welcome back to Real Night. We are finally hopping into the finale of season four. Definitely looking forward to it. There's so many different angles that this could go and I'm excited to see how they're going to leave everything off for this season. It could be potentially permanently disastrous. We haven't necessarily got anything super permanent as far as conclusions go in the show so far. Um, you know, everything kind of keeps moving forward within Dexter's normal life, uh, but this could be something that changes that. All right, enough talk. Let's roll it. He knows my name, occupation. He can find out about my family. My it's family. Get away, so. What the hell have I done? Yeah, family is the first thing on his mind. That's an interesting uh, angle to this. Floor. No, oh, it's exactly the right floor. Yeah, the getaway. So I'm guessing, I mean, stuff is going to change. talk somewhere else. So you can extort money from the Trinity Killer. I want you to disappear from my life. And you'll disappear from my life? I couldn't care less about your life. Man, the camera or is... Death. It's like turning at all different angles. It's really adding to the, the atmosphere of... Nervousness and unease in the situation here. Goodbye, Dexter Morgan. He's right. I screwed up. I let it come to this. And I mean, he aided him in it as well. <laughs> His need to, to get a kill in really drove him to get Arthur off scot-free. But no more. You know, he felt like he was in control of the situation, and his need for a kill drove him to line things up perfectly for Arthur. Now, as, as I was mentioning in the closing thoughts last time, Arthur has a lot more experience than him, so very dangerous situation. Trusty backup. <laughs> Morgan. Come on, Quinn, not today. Jeez. Yeah, I have some secondary analysis to do on the Kyle Butler case. Kyle Butler case. <laughs> Sliver the tongue there. What, when you're done chasing tail? You do not want to question my loyalty to my family, Quinn. Not today. Job. <laughs> yeah. Although, I mean, Quinn just has been getting in the way. Do you even have a plan here? He's kind of uh, taking out all of his anger and frustration on Dexter there. Sarita. Hey, you. I have something very important to say. Everything okay? <laughs> I want my honeymoon with you this weekend. <laughs> Oh, the timing couldn't be better. It's perfect time. Aspen and Cody will be in Disney World. Yeah, with Paul's parents, oh. I know, I remember. Yeah, nice bit of continuity. Hey! Gotta go! Come in! I wonder if that was like a producer or something. <laughs> the messes are piling up. I mean, Trinity saw him coming out after him, so... And he has to be on to him that he's here. Wrong. Isolated. No security. Perfect. Hmm. I wonder what his plan is here. I don't think Arthur would just leave this type of thing. Is this Quinn? Oh, <laughs> the road rage guy. I was kind of wondering why they highlighted that guy specifically. Got an actor for him and everything. Didn't just use like a sound effect or something. Three postcards don't have a match. Trinity sent these to Christine from Cheyenne, Topeka, and Bloomington, Illinois. Morgan. Lundy never... Yeah, this guy could end up being a witness to whatever Dexter... Is planning here. Christine Hill just committed suicide in front of you four hours ago. Now take a personal She's trying day. to put it out of her mind, probably. Because, like, if she goes home, it's probably going to be all she thinks about, you know. We have established that work is, that's her life. What's she still doing here? She's going. I feel like she's just going to be working on something else on the, maybe the Harry situation. Some of the cities on these postcards. That's just her coping mechanism. So what do we do now? Move in together? Married people do that. Valerie? Deborah Morgan. Yep. <laughs> right on that hairy case. <laughs> My day just got wide open. You up for a road trip? So... Yeah, Valerie Hodges confronted somebody. Maybe that led to his mom getting abducted or something like that? I mean, that was quick. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more uh, time to elapse before this took place. Although, you know, there is that mirror guy. So that could be a, a complication. Finally, it's over. It's 
Is that the 50k? Savings account closed, checking account closed. It's just, yeah, he's running. <laughs> Dexter got a signing bonus for this kill. But you'll be missing with all your money and everyone will assume that you skipped the country. Luck is finally working with me. I don't know about that. I mean, I get it, you know, I get it. That's the prick. Who, me? <laughs> you fucking hit my- Who, me? Because <laughs> being rude always helps in a tense situation, right? Calm down. Miami Metro, forensics. Diplomatic. Just asking for a little professional courtesy here. You might pull that shit down at Miami Metro, but here at the Sheriff's Department, we don't put up with- Come on. Cut on tape, asshole. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right. Diplomatic. Everybody, we're taking you in. Yeah, you should have like tied him up or something, or stayed incognito in the van, or drove the van away. I get what he was trying to pull there, but if Harry said he was gonna do something, he did it. He was a good man. He was a man or <laughs> yeah, but he was a lot of other things too. Here it is. Oh no! What's wrong? This was her house. It can't be. No, this is it. I remember the porch. Yeah. Why? What is it? I've been here before. <laughs> oh, Dev is so close. He brought me here. Rudy. Brian. The ice truck killer, Brian Moser. That was her name, Laura Moser. She had two little boys. Extra d destroyed the file, but he still has that picture in his desk. Dad, who the hell are you? Let go of the Trinity Killer for something even more emotionally devastating. Why are you even in here? Because of Arthur fucking Mitchell. Wrong. Because of you, man. What do you want me to say? I'm here because I lost it? Yes, I fucking lost Is he talking out loud right now? Like a fucking amateur. <laughs> Fuck you! It's your number one rule. Don't get caught. They were gonna find him. They were gonna find me with an unconscious man. I couldn't just let them find him. God damn it. I have to be the one. His pride. His pride. I have to know he's gone for my family. Exactly. He can't keep them safe while he's in here. Dark Passenger has done this to me. It's ruining my life. It is your life. I don't want it to be. Yeah, maybe not so much anymore. I don't want it. Clearly he still has the compulsion, but... I knew it wasn't Baudry. I'm smarter than the rest of you. I spoke with Bloomington Homicide. Asked about the dates on this postmark. In addition to those murders, there was a 10-year-old boy missing. They got that last piece. 10-year-old boys missing? Every time. Man, Dexter should just be one of the detectives. <laughs> Piece that together pretty quickly. Although he did have that, you know, timetable too. Contend with. Brian and Dexter Moser? She knows. It's your lucky day. Yeah, it feels like it. There's a shot, Arthur's still unconscious. Do you the favor of calling your wife. Have her come pick you up. My wife? <laughs> you gotta give it to her. Rita's there, you know. The disappointing Rita makes me feel like the scum of the earth. I'm sorry. And then you punched Elliot, which I actually liked. But now you pick a fight with a sheriff? He didn't really pick a fight with a sheriff. He just picked a fight with a guy. Darkness creeps in and it takes over. Makes you sound crazy. Maybe I am. No, I don't believe that. Everybody's a little bit crazy. I'll be right behind you. Hey, the van. <laughs> Another piece of continuity here. I mean, the money probably still be there at least. Don't know about Arthur though. He's a big guy, so. Will you actually think that'll let you go to the winter Ooh. prom? He doesn't have <laughs> no. to no, you could Don't tell me he's gonna. Well, we didn't know when to expect you. Bring me your jewelry. Gold, silver, anything with a stone in it. What's wrong? Your wedding ring. Arthur! Don't shut up now! Okay, Daddy, what's happening? What the hell is going on? What did you do? Arthur, please, no! You're lucky you don't pull the fillings out of your teeth. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't even finish my thought in that moment, but... Someone stole something from me, and I'm gonna find him. 
I hope his his rage doesn't drive him to take his family out. Detective Morgan, have a seat. I need to talk to you about a case. It was a quadruple homicide. In a shipping container. Yeah, Captain Matthews, or I guess Deputy Chief Matthews has all the, uh, all the tea. Laura Moser was murdered in that shipping container. She had two boys. One of those boys was Dexter. Harry adopted him. The other boy was too damaged by the incident. He grew up to be the ice truck killer. That just gave me chills. And you both turned out pretty damn well. <laughs> I mean, considering, yeah. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? You keep it to yourself. Oh, mm, fuck. It's gonna be Jesus. Hard for Quinn, what? I'll be right there. I'll give it to Deputy Chief Matthews here. You know, he, every time that they come to him, the Morgans come to him and ask for the truth, he, he always gives it to him. Like when Dexter came and asked about Harry's death, he was upfront about it and told him the truth. And now when Deb is coming to him asking for the truth, he tells him. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Well, this might be perfect, actually. If the kids are away and she wants to go on the honeymoon. No, I'm not sure that's... You can fly down in the morning. I'll follow you after work. You think I'm upset because you're like Paul? I'm worse. I know. Dexter. Yeah, but not towards Rita. <laughs> they picked up Paul. It was a relief. What's upsetting me is the idea of losing you. You have your demons, that you don't have to be a slave to them. I wish that were true. I know you better than you know yourself. Conquer whatever darkness there is in you. I know you can. I want to be that man. Mm. Yeah, you can tell he really wants it. Please fly to the Keys tomorrow morning. Trinity sure went through a lot of effort to make us think that Boji was our guy. Planting DNA. Oh, so they're thinking it's Trinity, huh? Quinn is talking to Scott Smith now. No, I'm not. I called in someone who knows about being kidnapped. Someone took me once, too. Yeah, where? Wasn't she supposed to be at home? Because of all the trauma she just went through? Now you want to make her relive some? Do you remember any little things about the van? There was a picture on it. Looking for this logo. <laughs> Four walls. You found something buried under the patio. Another body? Is this another build site? Or is this the one that was interrupted? Male victim. Approximate age. Mm -hmm. 10 years old. Must be another uh, build site. Cross checking with Trinity Cities. We'll find Trinity's real name. Then we'll take this motherfucker down. Oh, okay. So he got the apartment address. This is Deb's place now. You're a little piggy, Dexter Morgan. No, that's that's Deb. <laughs> Which is not good at all either. Deborah Morgan. Deborah Morgan. Fucking Deborah. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's my reaction to Deb sometimes. <laughs> and their goofy grandparents. <laughs> now for the rest of my family. Found it! Yeah, he is uncomfortably close. <sighs> I just got a few loose ends to tie up at work and I'll see you tonight. Can't wait. Hope the family stays safe. Can't wait to be done with Arthur Mitchell. Only one other place I can check. Yeah, his house probably, yeah. Did they already jump ship or...? Mr. Butler, where Jordan, are you? Jordan, have you seen your father? It's gonna be okay. I promise. I'll make sure you get Arthur's money. Did he say where he was headed? When we got up this morning, he was gone. So he, like, spent the night? <laughs> I guess that would kind of make sense, you know. Oh my... Shit. Yo. Where did Dexter go? Destiny. Every day we live. This is... Yeah, luck is not on his side. In the coffin. There's a lot to examine. There's a lot to examine about that, for sure. Off the top of my head, just... Dexter. <laughs> in a way, Arthur's seniority paving the way for Dexter. 
And over here, look, it's yeah. a framing hammer. Yeah, the way Deb's looking at him. What? The Four Walls National Database led us to Arthur Mitchell. He out his bank accounts. He disappeared. He's probably halfway around the world by now. Yeah, part of his plan is still working out for him. Hey, it's the fucking karate kid. Uh, you pull that shit again, next time I won't be the one who's on my ass. Oh, yeah. I'll still put money on Dexter. Yeah. It's a mirror for him here, too. Could be Rita and the kids, yeah. Exactly. And Harry's the one to do it. This is their future, Dexter. We both know it's inevitable. Oh. Arthur left his family too late. The damage was already done. You can still save your family. Rita doesn't want to lose him. By leaving, though? If you stay, sooner or later you'll be caught and they'll pay a terrible price for what you've done. Man, so is this what it is? Dexter getting away. After you're executed, they'll still have to go through life with your name branded across their foreheads. Is Dexter gonna leave? I have something to tell you. I found another CI Dad was sleeping with. Again with the unstable camera. A woman named Laura Moser. Does that name mean anything to you? Should it? Laura Moser is your biological mother. Don't say the rest. Don't know it. The other little boy, your brother, Brian Moser, the ice truck killer. She knows who I really am. It's over. Not even, not, not exactly, but like. He must have glommed onto you as a way to get to me. If I'd never been in your life. Fuck you. If you hadn't been in my life, I wouldn't be who I am. It's true. The one constantly good thing in my life. I've been good for her, and Rita says I'm good for her and the kids. No one would ever say that about Arthur. Maybe Harry's wrong. Well, people who don't know him closely, but yeah, he's been good. I love you. Wow, that is a very, it's a very heartwarming resolution to that. The car, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I, you know, the paint job on the Mustang was white before, kind of like symbolizing Trinity and his pristine appearance. White is usually a symbol of purity and whatnot, and um, black is usually a symbol of corruption. So I think that might be the uh, contrast that they're going for here. Special Agent Davis of the FBI. First rate job. Congratulations. Yeah. You guys didn't believe Lindy. Did Morgan, who brought these killings to the department attention, building on the work of one of your own? Special Agent Lundy. Fuck yes, Special Agent Lundy. No disrespect. She's right. We could have stopped it earlier. Could have proceeded differently. Will your retrospect cost a man his life? He lost her voice or something? Yeah, when it does become a nationwide thing, I mean, this is only Miami, uh, Miami Metro, so. Another case in the books for Deb. Kind of looks like the road that Dexter crashed on. Damn it, they have. It might be the same road. Yo. Was he like hiding in the trunk? <laughs> Hello, Arthur Mitchell. Man, he's got him. Guess you were picturing a different scenario. He got copies of all the pictures. <laughs> This is one of most, his most prolific kills yet. God led you to me. I wonder if he truly believes in God. Hardly. Yeah. Man, this is interesting. He's letting him see everything and... Is this who you are? Usually he has like one strap over the head. You destroyed your own family. I gave them everything. No, you took everything. Christine even killed herself. I know. Because of you. You think you're better than I am? No, but I want to be. I prayed to be changed. So you must. I have a family too, Arthur. I'm good. <laughs> you're like a child. Yeah, I mean, compared to Trinity. Yeah. This isn't your doing. This is God's plan. I accept that now. Oh, man. Every time I hear that, I just think about that Drake song. It's already over. Could you 
Uh, this is the uh, yeah where he kept Scott. I promise that I always Venus. As long as we both show. Wow. Ah, with the hammer. Really, just highlights what a single event can do to somebody's life. Now it's over. That's that. To think somebody that caused so much pain and suffering took so many lives. It's now just pieces of meat in trash bags at the bottom of the ocean. Frida's looking at this same moon at this same moment. I like that. Almost seems... The dark passenger's been fighting against it, trying to keep me all to himself. But it's my turn now. It, um, it almost just seems like it's not enough, you know? Almost seems like the easy way out. 30 years of killing. And maybe one day not so long from now, I'll be rid of the dark passenger. It all begins with a getaway. Life doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know, I just have this like weird sinking feeling right now. I don't know why. Hey, sweetie. Uh, I'm a dope. I was in such a rush to get Harrison organized, I forgot my ID for the plane. So I'm zooming home for it. it. Means we'll be on a later puddle jumper, but we'll still be there waiting for you. Oh, and I... Don't tell me. The moon tonight is gonna be amazing. Arthur didn't seem to be surprised when... I love you. Bye. When he mentioned he had a family. Don't tell me, man. Rita. I... <laughs> Born in blood, both of us. Harry was right. I thought I could change what I am, keep my family safe. But it doesn't matter what I do. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really in shock right now. Like, I can't believe that they did this. I'm what's wrong. This is fate. I honestly like I can't really <laughs> believe that like I yeah I had that sinking feeling I it felt like there was something more that was gonna happen because it was just it seemed like it was like lingering or something but I was not expecting them to end Rita you know and to think that Arthur just like looked him in the eye and laughed like his last his last kill I don't even know what to think about this right now I mean, yeah, like I loved Rita's character from the beginning. I really enjoyed her. I enjoyed the relationship that she and Dexter had. I think she grounded him quite a bit. And thinking about this, it does bring to mind that uh, what Harry said earlier in the episode when they had just captured where they were taking uh, Arthur's family out of the house. Um, Trinity left his family too late. That was the quote, I think. Dexter left his family too late. And that has been a recurring theme in this show is just that Dexter has this dark passenger and everything and everyone in his life is affected by it whether they know they are or not. We've saw we've seen that since season one. It messes everyone up. Corruption spreads. I can't believe Rita's gone. <laughs> I was teared up there too. Like it when her phone was ringing, I yeah. Just had that surge of emotion, you know. I'm not a crier. It's been <laughs> It has been years. I, I can't even remember the last time I've cried, but it almost happened there. Like, I felt something. I know, Audrey, you said you stopped at season four because you felt that it was a, a fitting end to, to the story there, and I, I kind of get that, you know. I also think it would have been a fitting end if Dexter had just gone home and, you know, everything had worked out. But to have Rita die like that, this, in a way, is a cliffhanger because you have to ask, 
okay, what is going to happen with the kids? It could be explained away as, you know, taking her own life. And also her eyes were on, her eyes were on Harrison when she was passing away. This was a insane season. And as I was predicting in the beginning of the episode, lasting consequences for Dexter's real life. Yeah, this is really eating me up, guys. I'm probably just going to have to cut it here. We'll finish everything in the closing thoughts. I just, I don't know. I I just don't really know what to say right now. As you all know, I don't normally do closing thoughts for season finales, but there were a few things I think warranted some closing thoughts for this one. First off, we are getting the culmination of Dexter's internal struggle with his dark passenger. Throughout this season, he's been driven by pride and selfishness, leading him to do everything in his power to keep Arthur alive and out of custody so that he himself could carry out the kill. We see this brought to the light when Harry and Dexter are arguing arguing in the cell after his arrest. I couldn't just let them find him, God damn it! I have to be the one to kill him for my family. Which also brings another factor into the mix, which is family. This is sort of a newfound concept for Dexter. It has been growing over the past few seasons, but the love of his family and not wanting to end up like Trinity or not wanting Rita and the kids to have to go through pain and suffering like Trinity's family did. So while the dark passenger in a sense is his selfishness and his pride, it's now also driven further by his need or his want to protect his family, or at least that is his rationale. He makes a definitive statement that highlights just how much the passenger has worn on him in this season and previous seasons. He no longer wants to feed the monster, he wants to be better, and in a way, even that mirrors Arthur. From John Lithgow's performance, I think Trinity was not lying when he said he never took pleasure in the kills that he made. I know that when he saw all of it in the room, he seemed to be happy and proud, but I think the kills themselves, he didn't necessarily enjoy. This point is also driven forward by the last true conversation that Dexter and Rita share, excluding the send-off in the taxi, of course. Amazing acting by Michael C. Hall in that exchange. You can really feel the desperation in his voice to change and the need that he feels. Something we've only really seen him display when he's driven to take a life. I believe this episode alone shows a massive amount of progression for Dexter. Secondly, they brought Rita's character to an end in this episode which makes some of their narrative choices in the season more understandable to me. Up until this season, we hadn't gotten too many negatives for Rita. There was the situation with Paul in season one, but that was an external force. We got the hurt she felt with Lila in season two, pushed forward and accentuated by her mother in the situation, again, an outside source. In season three, we got the baby as a potential separator, but again, she herself remedied the situation by taking pretty much all the responsibility off of Dexter's shoulders and leaving him with that choice. That being said, this season we got Elliot, also an outside source, but in this one scenario, it was Rita involved in doing something detrimental to Dexter and their relationship, which is something we haven't necessarily seen before. I personally thought, and I know some of you in the comments thought, that Elliot was just kind of a random character in a random situation, but after thought and with the full perspective of the season, I think Elliot and their marital issues in this season serve to begin to sever some of those ties built up over the past few seasons. Not completely, of course, which is why I think they just left it at a kiss instead of an affair and they had them go to counseling instead of separating. It sort of takes the audience on a bit of a roller coaster, going from disagreeing heavily with something that Rita's doing, making them conflict with Dexter and create problems for Dexter, thus putting Rita into the negative side of things and then bringing her character back as they slowly get better and better and she's continuing to be a rock for Dexter in that last episode, and then finally taking her life. I think the writers did a pretty good job of presenting that narrative and taking us on that journey. That's all I really wanted to say here. I'll save anything else for the R&R. &R. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.